Hey guys, it's Marcus here, and today what I'm going to do is show you how to set up a simple lead page with WordPress. This is super simple, and I've used it to make lots of money. The plugin that we're going to show you is going to help you monetize your blog and put different sidebar elements where you want them, because a lot of times people try to just put stuff in the sidebar widgets and, you know, AdSense on every page, mailing list on every page. Not only is that against AdSense, AdSense's TOS, but it also is like totally making your blog not profitable and not convert and not get leads and everything like that. So I'm going to show you a very simple way to get started building a list with your WordPress site. So what I have here is I have the videohacks.com website and I have a fresh install of WordPress. So what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to wp-admin, so x.com slash wp-admin. This will be uh, whatever your site is will be the same thing as well. We're going to shrink this up so you guys can see it all. Uh, so whatever your site.com slash WP dash admin, we're going to go ahead and put our admin stuff here. All right, like this. Okay, we're going to go ahead and log in. I'm going to save the password because I have a habit of forgetting all my passwords. All right, now, welcome to the regular WordPress admin panel. Now, you're going to notice here uh, you have your dashboard, you have your customize your site, everything like that. What we're most interested in is this stuff here, right there, okay? This is like our main settings column. All right, so what we're going to do first and foremost, this is the first thing I do whenever I have a brand new blog. First off, what I want to do is I want to go to settings okay we're gonna go to settings it's gonna drop down the little tab here okay we have general we want to make sure that our keyword is our site title and our secondary keywords are our tagline now I set this up when I actually installed WordPress um, if you have a different install or maybe you're using this uh, tutorial on an older blog you can you know tweak it as you find keywords and everything okay WordPress address videohacks.com videohacks.com excellent email address okay membership yeah anyone can register that's fine default role is subscriber now we're gonna go through <clears throat> excuse me we have the date and everything like that okay everything looks good here we're gonna go ahead and save it next we're gonna go to writing okay uncategorized standard okay <clears throat> excuse me I need some coffee right like this Okay, everything looks good. If you want to post via email, you can do that. I never do that, though. Go ahead and save that. Next, we're going to go down to reading. Okay, now this is the important one. What I want to do is I want to take a look at my latest posts here. Okay, and I want front page to display a static page. Now, if you're doing this on a new blog, you can just go ahead and click um, right here and you can choose the sample page. Okay, if you're doing this on an old blog, choose whatever you want your welcome page to be when people come to your main site. Otherwise, what it's gonna do is just show all the posts, which is kind of redundant. I mean, sometimes people use that if people are just visiting the blog all the time, but for us marketers and people who wanna build a list, we're gonna do it a little different. So we're gonna do sample page, okay? Next, we're gonna go ahead and we always wanna make sure search engine visibility, uh, make sure this is not checked, okay? we want the search engines to find us, so don't check that. All right, so we're gonna hit save changes there. Next, we have discussion, that's all about your comments, media, okay, good, permalinks, um, okay, we're gonna do custom structure. I'm just gonna do post name here, okay, that way it's a shorter URL and it has the keywords in the title when I structure my blog posts and pages, and we're gonna hit save. Now, what that did is it should have brought the home page to be the sample page, okay? So see how this is sample page right when they go to videohacks.com? Very important that we do that, okay? So now what we wanna do, now that we have all this stuff in the settings set, is we're gonna go up to pages, right, like this, okay? And I'm gonna go all pages. Now, again, if you're doing this on an older blog, um, you can just choose whatever you want your home page to be or leave it the same if you already have it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click edit and I'm gonna put Welcome to video hacks or whatever. Okay, um, if you're going after search engine traffic, which this one's not because the domain video hacks, I don't think I'm going to rank for video hacks. I might, but I don't think that many people search for it just yet. So I'm just going to put welcome to video hacks, which also has the keyword. So you could do like welcome to, you know, diabetes solutions or something, whatever your site is, okay? So we have welcome to uh, video hacks. I'm gonna go ahead and delete all this stuff here. Okay, the reason I'm gonna delete it is because I am going to put a, um, if I can actually delete it, let's see, there we go. 
I don't know why it's not letting me delete. Being funny. Okay, we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way, which is just hit the backspace all the way. Um, and while we do this, what I'm going to be doing is I'm putting a video here because the way that I want my blog to look is I want it to be a video and an opt-in box, and that's it, right? That way the video is like, hey, welcome, here's what you're gonna get for signing up for my newsletter or putting your name and email in the box, you're gonna get X, Y, and Z, and you know, then they'll opt in and I can take them to a thank you page. Now, it's very important that you do it this way, and I'm gonna show you why, because when we use the plugin, it's actually gonna let you create a thank you page in your blog, which is cool. So uh, we, wanna, we wanna remember one thing, pages are to put our opt-ins on. Good, got it. Okay, you can also sell stuff on them too. All right, posts are where we put our thank you page and our comments. I know it's a little confusing because why would you call a page a post and everything? Just remember, pages are static. They are for visitors that we wanna come into our site, so we want them to opt in or buy something or whatever. Okay, so static stuff. Posts are like all your content and everything like that. Okay, we're gonna show you how this works because what you wanna do is get in the habit of sending all your traffic to your posts after they've opted in through your pages. And we're gonna show you how that loop works. It's really cool. Um, if you're generating YouTube traffic and everything, it's a really cool way to boost your subscribers, get a lot more traffic, make your site really popular, and get a lot of people back to it so they see your sales message and buy your stuff. Okay, so now, we have deleted this here. Now, what, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a video, so I'll show you how that works. I'm just gonna go to YouTube. Um, let's see, we'll just go to YouTube here and I'm gonna find one of my videos. Um, later I'll replace it with the actual video that I record for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to Affiliate Marketing and Dude, right like this, okay? Um, and I'm gonna grab some kind of video from my channel just to show you how it works. So we'll do uh, this one here, okay? So we're gonna take this video. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna size it. What I usually do for my blogs is I size them 675, and I'll show you why in just a minute. So we're gonna go embed, and we're gonna go like this. We're gonna tick no suggested, no player controls, no video title, okay? And we're gonna go here, and I'm gonna do custom size 675, okay? It'll automatically populate the other. I'm gonna copy this stuff up here, okay? Right there, I'm gonna copy this, and for those that didn't see uh, that there, there we go, right? You have um, all that stuff here, which is what I ticked off. So make sure there's no check boxes checked there. Okay, didn't know I was in your way. Okay, so we're gonna copy this here. Now, another trick you can do if you want this video to autoplay when they come to your site, is I can actually go here. Now, when you're posting a video, go to text. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post this here and I'll try to lean down so you can see it. Okay, I'm gonna post this here. We got everything in text, make sure it's text. I can go in and I can do and, right after R-E-L equals, I could do and autoplay equals one, okay? And I think that's it, or actually I'm just gonna do question mark autoplay equals one and I'm gonna put the and after it. Okay, so right like that. And I'll put some stuff uh, below to show you how to do this as well. But it's basically after the question mark and autoplay, or I'm sorry, after the question mark, autoplay equals one and REL. Okay, that should make it play automatically. So we'll go like this and we'll see how it looks. We should be able to reload. And below our stupid cactus, we have welcome to video hacks and the video plays automatically. Cool, looking pretty good. All right, now we can touch up the sizing of the video a little bit later because it looks kind of funny, but we wanna make sure it works with our theme, okay? So that's our next thing. First of all, we wanna do this, video blah, blah, blah. Second, now that we have that, first, uh, the second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a post, go to all posts, I'm gonna go to Hello World if you're on a new blog. If you're on an old one, you can make a new one or you know, make a different post or something like that. So we're gonna go edit, and I'm just gonna call this Thank You Post, okay? I'm gonna change it later. That's just the title for now. Um, we can change it to Thank You, right like this. Okay, that way it's videohacks.com slash thank you. Okay, I'm just gonna save it as is. We're gonna edit this baby later, uh, so don't worry about it. We'll get that fixed up in just a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna go right like that, and let me see if I can see here. Unfortunately, the camera has to be like right in my way. Um, so there we go, now we have that, okay? Now we can go view the, the post here, and we can see, see how it looks different? There's a different header and stuff. This is the difference between pages and posts. Now normally, your thank you posts and all your posts are gonna have all this sidebar junk here. 
We don't want to do that, okay? So we're going to show you how to get rid of that as well, okay? Page, post, very simple. Next, what I want to do is I want to go to plugins, add new, okay? We're going to add a new plugin. And the new plugin we are going to add, we're going to hit upload. Okay, this is a custom plugin that I actually developed. I spent thousands of dollars developing this over the years to make it do what I want, which is going to make these work. It works for launches, it works for opt ins, building your list, videos, everything. Okay, so we're going to go browse and we're going to go to the desktop. And I think I called it Live Plug. And we're going to use what's called Squeeze Blogs Pro. Okay, Squeeze Blogs Pro is a plugin. It comes with uh, most of my products, uh, including Simple Sites Big Profits. So, you know, if you get that at simplesitesbonus.com, you'll get all my plugins and everything as well. Okay, activate plugin after we've installed it. Okay, and then once we activate it, you're going to notice it here. Okay, and then you're also going to notice it over here. Okay, it shows up right there. There we go, right there. Right, okay, cool. So, there we have that, and you'll notice when you click on it, it actually has like a little uh, drop down and everything like that. So here it is. I need to update the ads because this is a brand new version. But you'll notice you have Squeeze Blogs Pro, Custom Search, Drop Down, etc. So what I'm going to do first and foremost is go to Squeeze Blogs Pro. Okay. So what we want to do is want to make an opt-in box on this page, but not on the post. Okay. Very important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go here. We have title. If you want to have a title, I'm going to have home page right like this. So I'm going to check that on. Okay, I'm going to put, just for a teaser copy, get, uh, let's see, enter your name and email to get Marcus's killer, killer video hacks. Okay, now I can fancy this up a bit. Um, I can go in here, I can do visual. Okay, fancy it up, center it. I could make it bold. I can make it uh, red if I want to make it red that usually attracts the attention okay next what I want to do after I get my title or my little uh, content thing here I want to enter in my Aweber list name now if you don't have Aweber I would recommend getting Aweber and using it with this if you don't have it just use one of these other tabs and use the HTML code okay very simple so we'll show you how that works when we get to the thank you page okay so home page content got that Aweber list name, let's say it's called uh, Simple Marcus. Okay, I'll probably make a video one, but I know this one's active. Now, thank you URL, right here. Videohacks.com slash thank you, or whatever you created for yours. Okay, and there we go. Bullet one, two, three, these are like what you're giving them. Free video ranking PDF, killer free plugins, and video hacking tips or whatever, video profit tips. Uh -huh. Okay, and uh, we could go through and finalize these later. Privacy policy is automatic, um, so I'm not gonna enter anything in here. I'm just gonna use the automatic one, okay? Then I'm gonna choose my theme, which is gonna make the color different, right? So if I choose white like this, I can edit it, um, and then I hit update, okay? So now, once we update, it should show up. Uh, we have to do one more thing to make it show up, and that is we're gonna go to Appearance, Widgets, okay? Under Widgets, I'm going to take all these sidebar things, okay? We don't want these in our sidebar anymore because SqueezeBlogs Pro is gonna handle that, okay? So we're gonna take them all out, then I'm gonna find SqueezeBlogs Pro right here, right there, beep, 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 right? And we're gonna drag this up here. Okay, so we put it right over there. Got it? Save. Now, assuming the default theme works with it, we should be able to reload and see some kind of opt-in. It might be weird looking, but it should be on there. Let's, Let's see, kind of see if it's going here. Okay. I know sometimes it's a little odd with the way that the themes work. Let's see if it does it this way. Okay. Might be a theme kind of issue. Woke up. Let's see. Okay, might be a theme issue. So let's try a different theme and see what happens here. Okay, activate. And see if that does the trick. 
There we go. Okay, so notice how here with this theme, we actually have the opt-in box. Oh, let's get out of your way here. The opt-in box right there. Okay, so it's there. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to edit our theme and make it better. So if you don't get it working, it's usually a theme issue. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that up. Now you'll notice there's two here. That's because I have this checked twice. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check off home page. Okay. So that'll just put it on all the pages. Now, if I create a new page, it'll also show on the new pages, but it will not show anywhere but pages. Okay. Which is really cool. And I'll show you why. All right. So there's how we have that. Next, what I want to do is show you how I create a simple theme, okay? Now, when I create my WordPress themes, obviously, I don't want WordPress to look like this because this, people aren't going to opt in that great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this program called Artisteer. Artisteer is a wonderful program. If you go to my site, uh, simplesitesbigprofits.com, you can learn how to use this. Um, SimpleSitesBonus.com also has detailed tutorials about how to use it as well. So what we're going to do is it's basically like a what you see is what you get theme editor. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do file new and let's see, let's see about, I'm just going to use this WP leads. Now again, in SimpleSitesBonus.com, once you get my software, uh, we actually have these templated out for you so you get this. So like you don't have to go through all the stuff and learn this whole program. You could just go boom delete the image, insert a new image, right like this. I'm gonna put my Video Hacks logo, uh, let's see, image, and we'll do from file. Okay, now I get to remember where I put this. I think it's in 27, I hope, right? I have a habit of making everything everywhere, which is a pain. And then we're gonna go Video Hacks, there it is there, okay? Put our Video Hacks logo, we can center it, we can put it off to the side. Okay, I liked it centered better, so let's yep, let's insert it again so it centers it. Okay, I like that. Okay, good. Now, what we want to do is we want to edit our colors. We got red here for the title of our page. I like that. This looks pretty good. Okay, we can edit the links later. All right, let's see about our menu, because I do want to have a menu, okay, which is where like all the pages are. Okay, so we're going to do that below this, I think should look good. Uh, yeah, do we, below? Below should be good. Okay, so we're going to do that. I'm also going to take my menu, okay, and I'm going to try to center it, if I remember how to do it. Align, center. Okay, that's going to put them in the center. Now, what I also want to do is I want to change up the font. Okay, so active, I'm going to do all these the same. So I'm going to do active blue. Okay, I'm gonna do um, passive blue. Okay, that way they always look like links because we want people to click on our stuff, right? And blue underline still gets like the best click through rate possible, okay? So cool, that's how it works. If you have sub pages, it'll do that as well. All right, so those are blue, they're small. I like that because I want all my pages on one line. I don't want them to be like stacked up. So we don't want more than like three or four pages. Um, sometimes five depending on what you have, um, but that's usually about it. Okay, next we're gonna go to sheet, okay? Under sheet, we're gonna edit the width. Now, I'm gonna go see what the width is here. It looks like I have 1,000. Now, remember how I said like I like my videos um, to be 675? That's because this part here, okay, where the content is, is about 675, and then where the, um, where the sidebar is, this V menu thing over here, um, the sidebar, over there that way right is um, usually about 375 okay so we're gonna do this 1000 okay then I'm gonna do um, what's it called do, 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 do. sheet margin padding okay I think it's under slider menu vertical menu layout there it is it's under layout okay so we're gonna go sheet width we have that at 1000 columns we're gonna go like this and then I'm gonna do column width and I'm gonna do custom and we're gonna do 350 okay that way there's a little buffer between the two okay so 350 there and now once we have it the way we like which I'm kind of liking this right it's pretty cool that I made it in like two seconds uh, a little bit longer than that we're gonna export 
this as a WordPress theme. Now, this is how you create a WordPress theme. It's really cool. Like a lot of people spend their whole life looking for a WordPress theme when you can create them in seconds with this program, or you could uh, download the ones in simplesitesbonus.com if you are a Simple Sites member. Okay, so we're gonna go file name. I'm just gonna call this video hacks, right like this. And export, make sure you have zip archive. Okay, now if you want to be able to edit it later, you can also include the ARTX file, which is an option as well. Okay, so there's our export. Done. All right, that's it. That's all we do in Artist Ear. Now we're going to go back to our blog. We are going to go to the dashboard here. Okay, I'm going to go to Appearance, Themes, and let's see where that exported. Export. Okay, it's exporting to Documents. Okay, that's fine. Documents, Artist Ear Templates. Okay, so we're going to go here, we're going to go Add New, Upload Theme, Browse, Documents, Artist Ear Templates, and Video Hacks. Super simple. Install, Activate. Now watch what happens. Instead of having that cactus looking thing, now we are going to have our really cool Video Hacks thing, right? Welcome to Video Hacks, welcome there. Um, now, I'm noticing that this video is a little skewed, so we might want to either make our theme bigger or we might want to make the video smaller. So in this case, I'm just going to make the video a little bit smaller, okay? And I'm going to do that. Yeah, today was kind of a weird day. By had all kinds of customer problems. Clicking here. All kinds of employee problems. Okay, there we go. We should be able to pause it. Okay, so we're going to go there, and we're going to do... 675. It was kind of a weird. Do 650. It was kind of all kinds of customer problems. Had all kinds of customer problems. Yeah, it's gotta be fun when you hear yourself over and over. Okay, so we'll try 650 by um, by 350. See how that looks. Cool. Looks good to me. Now, remember when you're doing this. Now, I'm also gonna I'm gonna make the 350 a little bit more because I'm getting those black things on the sidebar. But remember, when your viewer sees this, they're not gonna see the edit, so it's gonna be all nice and tight against the uh, Welcome to Video Hack. So we're gonna edit like this, and I'm gonna do, let's try 370. Okay, like this. It's getting better, right? We could probably tighten it up a little and go like 375 or something like that see how that looks and you can just kind of play with it until um, until it's done okay so there we have that and good enough okay we'll we'll tighten it up a little bit that's fine right we got our logo we got everything and then they'll opt in and of course the edits gonna be gone once we log out so it'll be all nice and tight up against the thing now you have a basic squeeze page right congratulations really easy um, badass squeeze page done deal now when they opt in of course since you have your theme it's gonna change on your posts and everything right everything WordPress is gonna change uh, now we have this now notice that we don't have any sidebar widgets yet on the thank you uh, post okay again that's going to be controlled by your squeeze blogs pro here okay so when you go in here you're going to notice that this allows you to put everything everywhere okay so like if i want to put thank you post stuff like let's say i have um, a banner ad or something like that right i would go get the banner ad i would put the code here okay right like that code would be there and then i'd hit update and then it would show up on Hopefully it'll show up. Let me see if I update it. Yep, not pages, posts. There we go. Okay, so when I have it on the posts, uh, we're gonna update it. And now we have, see how that DSDF, so if you had banners or AdSense or whatever. Now don't put AdSense on your thank you post ever um, or your thank you pages or anything like that because they don't like that. So what you wanna do is you wanna just put it for banners and maybe other videos. Um, I like to use other videos and stuff like that as well. Like you'll notice um, on my blogs, if I was to go to Simple Sites, big profit, bigprofits.com, this is exactly how I line up my blogs, right? So I have a simple theme here, video opt-in box. Okay, not a whole lot to do here except check out a couple pages and opt-in. Right, then once they opt in, they're gonna go to my other posts, 
okay? And I'll go to Google so you can see these. Now, the cool thing about this too is they can't find your posts unless they opt in. So if someone comes here from a video or from something, right, they can't find all my glorious, wonderful content unless they opt in, okay? Or are like a super genius at doing this stuff, which most people aren't. Okay, so we're gonna go site colon just to find my other stuff uh, so I could show you what it looks like. Now, uh, let's see. So like this, right? On this one, you'll see I have, um, let's pause this. I have my video, I have comments, I have recent posts, I have other opt-ins, and I have my live chat, right? So different stuff um, based on whether they're on a page or a post or whatever it is. So it's really easy to do. It makes absolutely killer squeeze pages, um, which will help you in any niche, right? You could use this in any niche uh, to make your stuff really, really work. Then when you're doing your thank you post, you just do something like thank you, welcome, my name's Bob, uh, watch for my email, bob at bobwhatever.com. Um, by the way, while you wait, check out these things so that I can make some money. Obviously, you put your affiliate links and your sales stuff um, on that and links to other things as well. But once they're in your mailing list, now I can send them to all my other stuff, right? Like I can send people um, from my mailing list to any of the posts. Like if I want to send them to how to generate leads online with YouTube, I could just go copy link, boom, send them here. They're back to my stuff. It's like a big cycle. It works wonderful. This is a great way to start from ground zero, build up your uh, reputation in a market, start to interact, start to put content out, start to get search engine rankings, boost your videos and everything like that. You always want to, even if you're just doing YouTube or just doing Facebook or whatever, you always want to create your own mailing list because you want the power to be able to send people where you want. Okay, very important. Now, you'll also notice we allow you to have four different opt-ins. So like if I find out that this how to generate leads with online video gets a ton of traffic, right? I could go copy the post number here okay or whatever the post number is here you'll see it um, if you're using permalinks or whatever right you're gonna use that and then you can actually go and say well you know I want this opt-in to only show on page 122 or whatever okay or post 341 or whatnot okay and you could switch it up now you can also do comma another one comma another one comma whatever and you can have it wherever you want which is really cool the same thing works for the thank you the affiliates the sales right, like widgets for sales pages. Uh, recent posts, very important. I always put this only on posts, okay? Just like I did here where they show here, so the search engines see them, but when people are on my homepage, they don't see them, right? That's the beauty of this. It works for everything. That's why I was so specific of not using uh, one of those free plugins. I actually wanted to pay money to get this thing built for me uh, so I could use it with pay-per-click, with video ads, with everything like that. So very simple. Um, AdSense, if you want to do AdSense, you can post your code right in here in text, and then you could show where you want it to. Very simple to do, okay? Awesome stuff. Um, very easy, right? That's how you make a simple little video squeeze page with a custom WordPress theme and you're off to the races. So now instead of people just going to a site or subscribing to my YouTube or whatever, I can say subscribe to my YouTube and check out our site for more stuff or whatever, right? They go here, they watch the video, it says, welcome, you're gonna get this, this, and this. Put your name and email in the box, boom, they join my list, I send them back to my posts, I make lots of money, the rest is history. Thanks again for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the Simple Sites course at simplesitesbonus.com. It teaches all this stuff, gives you all the tutorials, gives you all the tools and everything like that. And um, yeah, so awesome stuff. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe if you're watching this uh, on YouTube. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again, Marcus from videohacks.com, over and out. Go to Video Hacks and put your name and email in so you can get my cool stuff. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.